happening everyone? Conscienceful here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. I hope your day is going really well and let's get right into it. All right, so for today's video, I'm going to be telling you everything that's going on this week in Pokemon Go, starting today, November 4th, going until this Sunday, November 10th. And I have to tell you, this week is not looking to be that exciting. There is going to be a new in-game event with the debut of a brand new shiny, but overall, there's not too much going on. The in-game bonuses are not going to be something worth being excited about. And then in terms of the rating content, it's kind of debatable whether or not you should actually care about it. And then of course, this week is going to be a week where we're going to be getting a community day, but unfortunately, the jury is out regarding whether or not this Pokemon is actually going to be useful. So yeah, let's talk about everything that's going to be happening, starting off with the in-game event that's going to be kicking off this week. It's going to be the Harvest Festival event, and it's going to be happening this Thursday, November 7th at 10 o'clock a.m. local time, and it's going to go until next week. Now the key thing with this event is that there's going to be the debut of a brand new shiny, and that shiny is going to be Shiny Smollett. Now, a lot of you probably already know that this Pokemon and any of its evolved forms just simply does not have any kind of gameplay relevance. Even within specialty cups within the Go Battle League, there really is nothing for Arbolev, so I really do think that when it comes to this new shiny, it's mainly a collector's item and that's pretty much it. So yeah, unfortunately, this event is not worth being excited about, but it's still nice that we're getting ourselves a brand new shiny. Now, later on this week, we are also going to be getting a community day, and it's going to be featuring the Pokemon Mankey. And I know what you're already thinking. When it comes to this Pokemon, yes, it would have been really relevant and it would have been a great community day, but for last season. Unfortunately, with this new season, a lot of the Pokemon with fighting type attacks got hard nerfed, and that also includes Annihilate, which is Mankey's final evolved form. And that Pokemon was really good back in the day with last season, but now it's not necessarily that relevant. In fact, it ranks quite low. So yeah, unfortunately, this community day is not one that a lot of players are looking forward to, except for those who still need to get themselves a shiny Mankey. For those players, this is going to be a great opportunity for you to get that. Moving right along, let's talk about the raiding content for this week. In 5-star raids, we're going to have the legendary Pokemon Lugia. Now this is a key thing because when it comes to this Pokemon, it's going to learn the attack Aeroblast when you catch it during this week. And that is very key because Aeroblast is essential for this Pokemon to be really good in the Master League, and that's really where this Pokemon shines the most. It's not going to be good for raid battles, unfortunately, there's just plenty of really good flying types and psychic types for you to get. But in terms of the Master League, this Pokemon is still pretty good. So if you want to get yourself one with Aeroblast, this week is definitely a week where you will want to raid because Lugia is definitely a powerhouse when it comes to the Master League. Unfortunately, it's not going to be top tier or even ranked number one like in previous seasons, but it's still pretty good and it has very few counters for players to use against it. Next up, let's talk about what's going to be in Mega Evolution Raids. It's going to be Mega Manetric starting this Monday. And of course, this Pokemon is one of those that a lot of players tend to overlook because it's not often that you will need an electric type Mega Evolution. But when it comes to that, Mega Manetric is your absolute best one. So if you need Mega Energy for this one particular Mega Evolution, then make sure you do a couple of Mega Evolution raids this week because there's no telling when Mega Manetric is going to return to Mega Evolution raids. Now going back to Lugia being in 5 star raids, this of course means that this Wednesday's raid hour, which is going to be from 6 o'clock p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. local time is going to be featuring this Pokemon. So if you want to get yourself a whole bunch of Lugia candies and Lugia XL candies, then make sure you do a whole bunch of raids this Wednesday. Between those hours, pretty much every single gym is going to spawn this Pokemon. And then finally, with Shadow Legendary raids on the weekends, we are going to have Shadow Suicune. And unfortunately, this is one of those Shadow Legendaries that is just not useful at all. So if you want one that is shiny, that's pretty much the only opportunity for you to get it, and I think that's pretty much it, because otherwise this Pokemon has no uses within Pokemon Go, so it's not one that you need to prioritize on the weekend. Next, let's shift gears and talk about what's going to be going on within PvP. In the Go Battle League this week, starting on Tuesday, we're going to have the Master Premier League along with the Open Great League. And before that, we're going to have the continuation of the Open Great League, Open Master League, as well as the Open Ultra League. 
But yeah, I really do think that when it comes to this entire week, it's really going to come down to what your Great League team is. If you have a really solid team for the Open Great League, then pretty much every single day of this week, you're going to have a league that is available to you for you to get higher ranks. So definitely take full advantage of that if you want to reach a higher rank before the end of the season. Now, let's talk about this Tuesday Spotlight Hour. It's going to be featuring the Pokemon Surf Kit, but that's not really the big highlight of this Spotlight Hour. It's going to be the bonus, which is going to be a two times transfer candy bonus for this Spotlight Hour. And that is definitely one of those bonuses that is underrated. The reason why I say that is because if you have a whole bunch of legendaries and mythicals that you've been holding on to that you want to transfer, it's going to be a great opportunity for you to do that because you're going to be getting double the amount of candy when you transfer those legendaries and that's a great way for you to stock up on a whole bunch of candies and that's really one of the reasons why I say that the two times transfer candy bonus is always one of the most underrated spotlight hours that we can get so yeah overall it's a pretty timid week there is not too much going on I think the only major highlight is going to be the harvest festival event with the debut of shiny small but outside of that, there is really not much to look forward to. It's one of those weeks that you could essentially take a break from Pokemon Go or take it easy because there's not going to be a whole bunch going on. I mean, leading up to Thursday, we're not even going to have any kind of special in-game event. We are, of course, going to have the end days of the Halloween event, but I do believe that's going to be over by the time you watch this video. So yeah, there's really essentially nothing for you to do. So yeah, maybe you take a break, maybe you take a breather, maybe you should catch up on your buddy adventure. I really do not know, but this is going to be a very slow week and I'm totally okay with that because I'm pretty sure we're going to have some pretty hyped up weeks coming up. So make sure you're prepared for that by stocking up on Pokeballs, getting a whole bunch of Stardust, and that's really essentially all you need to do during this week. But yeah, in any case, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your thoughts regarding everything that's going to be happening this week down below in the comments. Is there anything in particular this week that you're actually looking forward to? Or are you going to completely skip out on this week and just take a break? I really do think it's not a bad week for you to take a break because there's not a whole bunch going on but I could be completely wrong here. Maybe there's something that I completely missed that you think deserves a lot of attention. If there is, make sure you mention it in the comments below and let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And real quick, let me give a shout out to all of my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you wanna support the Constant Slow channel, the absolute best way to do so is always going to be by joining my Patreon. And if you become a paid Patreon member, you get the added benefit of getting into my Pokemon Go friends list. So that means for stuff like remote raids and the friendship system, if you want to play Pokemon Go with me, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And also, if you want to support my channel in a completely different way, you could do so by following me on social media. I'm on the platforms that you see on screen. My handle is at Kanjinsula. Make sure you go over there and give me a follow. And that's going to be it for this video. I'm Kanjinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one. I mean, I guess aside from Pokemon Go, there's a lot going on this week in terms of the election within the United States. So... Yeah, maybe that's why Niantic is giving us a bit of a slow week. I really do think it's going to be a pretty big week. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go and register to vote. And uh, yeah, participate in that if you live in the United States. Otherwise, yeah, enjoy your break. It's not necessarily going to be that exciting. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, later.